Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for you take as per my community post my primary job work has been started so nowadays i'm quite busy and this will continue until the march 2023 until then i will try to create the videos but they will be not available frequently or some videos may not be uploaded because of busy schedule sorry for that but today i once again came back with the another amazing rom by the amazing developer optimus prime as you heard correctly He is developer of OnePlus devices who regularly maintains the most of the custom ROMs. To flash this build, you must be on the unlocked bootloader. You can refer our iCard video how to do that. Enable USB debugging and then first power up the device. Then long press the volume down plus power button. Phone will boot into the fast boot mode and then connect the phone to the PC. Today in this video, we'll see how to flash this update. What's working in this initial build as it is a beta three. its performance its features and finally i given some bugs and my final verdict now with the further do let's get started on the new adventure so you need to download this files boot image vendor boot image and the full rom zip file place it in any folder on the desktop or inside the platform tools folder of your pc Then long press the shift plus right click of your mouse and then select the open command prompt here from the drop down menu. Now type the fast boot devices to check device is connected properly or not. Now type fast boot flash boot boot dot img. Once flashing gets successfully completed, type next command. Fast boot flash vendor underscore boot vendor underscore boot dot img. All these commands are given under the video description. Now type the command fast boot reboot recovery. Phone will boots to this recovery screen. Now by using the volume up and down buttons select the factory reset option and then press the power button to confirm. Once format is gets completed now go back to the main screen of recovery by selecting the top back arrow key. On the home screen select the apply update now choose the apply from the adb. Now again move to your CMD screen on the PC type adb side load and drag the full rom zip file in a CMD window. to select its location and hit enter you will see the flashing process is started showing the progress bar once it gets completed to 100% take the phone in your hand and select reboot to the system that's it phone started to the boot into the new rise droid build with the same pixel as friends boot animation as you done the clean flashing go through the full setup process and finally we booted to the rise droid launcher let's jump to the about phone to check the details of the new rom Here you can see this is the complete overall of new stock setting. In the about phone you can see this is the Rise UI 3.0. Rise Droid version is 7.5 with the Lineage OS sister egg as this ROM is based around the Lineage OS sources. In the Android version tab you get so all details of the device and the software. So this ROM is based on the Android 13 with its new Google clock sister egg. Security patch is of latest October 2022. Build date is of 13 October 2022. Kernel version is 5.4.147. So everything is up to date. So we will get the most stable build with the November security patch. Now let's check out all the basic things like the Wi-Fi. It's working along with the Wi-Fi hotspot, but I didn't found the Wi-Fi bandwidth selection setting like the 5 hertz or the 6 hertz that we got in the Paranoid Android build. Next, Bluetooth is working and is connecting the devices, but you can't hear the sound in the devices. To fix this you have to enable the toggle for the one setting in the developer option called as the disable a2dp offload and reboot the phone now you can get the sound in the bluetooth devices audio in the bluetooth and speakers both are working good rom supports the sbc acc and the hd audio codecs nfc is working gps is working with the good accuracy under display fingerprint is working it's accurate and the fast enough Quality HD incoming and the outgoing calling is working but you didn't get the call recording feature in this. There is one issue in the calling that I will discuss in the bugs and the issue sections of the video. So stay tuned with us until the end of the video. So what about the camera? ROM has the Griffin camera application which is the basic camera application without any features. 
basic things like the video recording is not working in this application when you try to use it the camera gets stuck without the recording so i used the google gcam mgc build to check is it working there or not in the google mgc build night mode and the portrait photos for the front and the main camera both are working in the video recording slow motion is not working but the timeless videos are working good video stabilization is working it has some different video stabilization features wide angle modes are also working video recording mode is working only for the 180p resolution as soon as you switch to the 4k recording like the griffin camera application this application also gets stuck at the black screen so camera still needs some fixes and the developer should port the nothing camera application for the custom roms because most of the users prefer the nothing os camera application if you check the safety net rom passes the safety net so we can use the security related application in this rom without the issues wide one security is on l1 so you can enjoy the netflix and the amazon prime videos at the full hd resolution rom storage is encrypted so no worry about the data stealing after device got stolen google photo camera application has the unlimited photo backup working all the sensors like the accelerometer light proximity magnetometer compass gyroscope all are working well other things like the light sensor loudspeaker touch are working but some things like the mic and the ear speaker has some issues that we will discuss later so most of the things are working but some flaws are there as this is the beta 3 build of the rom these bugs and issues i will discuss in the bugs and issue section of the video now let's check out the performance of the new rom rom is super smooth it has the 60 90 120 hertz option as per your need apps opening closing app switching ram management all the things are absolutely stunning for the cpu performance in the geekbench i got the score of 726 on the single core and for the multi core i got the score of 2883 on the open gel drivers i got the score of 2204 and for the hulkan graphics score is 2384 all these scores are very good and they are almost similar to the last custom rom that we reviewed called as the paranoid android Now we'll see the only some important customization features that we get in the ROM. There is a personalization setting available in the main setting of the ROM in that all the custom features are well arranged. In the miscellaneous setting we get some smart pixel tab which help us to switch off the screen pixel. It has some setting percentage of screen pixel to be disabled which has 88 75 62 etc percentage options. Don't use the settings above 62%. Keep it always below that level. This will extremely useful in the emergency battery level when the phone is going to switch off. It almost doubles the battery performance. It has the auto enable and the burn in protection also. Similar to the performance mode there is a system boost toggle which help us to improve the performance of the ROM. There is a weather setting at the bottom which displays the weather data on the home screen, lock screen and on the quick setting panel. But currently weather in the quick setting panel is not working. under the user interface we get the contextual message toggle for the settings application we also get the aosp style search bar toggle we get the different setting style which gives the complete overall of settings panel some of these are as on the screen under settings and in the system button setting we get the taskbar option This will enable the permanent app dock at the bottom of the screen or in any of the application. You can hide this bar by long pressing at the corner of the display. You can open this application anytime anywhere and can also access the app drawer too. If you drag any of the application from the app dock to the currently running application, it gets open in a split screen. There is a glip interface setting available that we will check later at the end of the video. In the home screen setting for the launcher we get the different action toggles for the recent screen like clear all button close currently running application button google lens screenshot pin application etc rom has the wallpaper and style application which has the theme icon which only themes the dock icons on the home screen but there is toggle in the home setting which themes the whole app drawer icons okay google voice activation is also working here rom has the live display setting for the color calibration for the display along with the color profile like the natural boosted saturated and adaptive double tap to wake and double tap to sleep is working on the lock screen always on display is available and it's working too but it's too much dim and there is no setting to increase its brightness 
There are dedicated 60-90-120 Hz screen refresh rate tile in the quick setting panel. Now let's check out the bugs as you already seen some camera bugs like the video recording issues, slow motion. These are the major issues and needs to be fixed. Instead of that there is a bug in the call volume control toggle. We can't increase or decrease the call volume from its default level. Another issue is for the mic detection. While testing the mic in the device info application, it's working. But the detection of sound via mic is very low. So while you are on the calls, another person can't able to hear the voice call clearly. Also the ear speaker sound level is low. So the both the person while on the call may face the difficulty for hearing the sound. ROM has the glyph interface setting, but it has just a basic functionalities like the brightness control and the charging meter. Other features like flip to glyph, ringtone and the sound connected glyph interface. Google voice interaction are not available and will be available in the next update. Another bug is for the OTA. It's not working. It's showing the connection error even though we have the stable network connection. Except these bugs, no other bugs I found. But still you may face some minor bugs here and there. Battery life for the both the custom ROMs like the Paranoid and the Rise.8 to confirm. Because of busy schedule, I did not able to use this device as a primary device. As per my final verdict, though this ROM is in a beta stage but is still highly stable with the minor bugs. But wait for the stable update if you want the more refined uses of the ROM. Day after tomorrow, I will post how to revert back video from the custom ROM to the stock nothing OS. So stay tuned. For now, if I help you, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye. Feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sun.